rest, uh, recipe for us today. Yes, I am. I'm gonna do a roasted stuffed tomato with some salmon, crowned okay. with asparagus tips, some homemade wheat pasta, a hot spinach salad, uh -huh. some fresh herbs. Wow. And we'll go from there. Wonderful. And you are here at the Wednesday market yes. to pick up some nice. ingredients. Yes, I am. It's very simple. Just a blend of cheeses. I use uh, Munster, mozzarella, Parmesan with the smoked salmon. A little fresh dill and thyme in there. Great. Real simple. Touch of lemon juice. A little olive oil. Then we'll take that and you get your tomato. And there's the mix. Very simple. Make it in minutes. And we'll stuff the tomato. So you're just basically taking your cheese, your trout or salmon, whatever smoke mm -hmm. you choose, and just putting mixing that all together. Right. Okay. Blending it all together. Putting a little bit of olive oil on there. Right. So we're gonna roast this baby oh. in the oven. And I like to throw a little asparagus tips. Nice fresh from the farmer's market. Oh, nice. And then we'll pop this in the oven. It usually, it'll take at 350 about 10 minutes, 12 minutes. Okay. Nice quick chop. Nice. You know, if you got family or friends unexpectedly coming over, this would be nice, quick, I think slightly elegant, you know, luncheon or cocktail party thing. All right, squeeze just a little lemon. Take a little olive oil, blends in well with the bacon grease. So now this that you've got going on the stove, now this is going to be the dressing? Yes, it's a hot okay. dressing. I'm going to make it with the honey that I got from the farmer's market. Okay. The dark, I got the dark honey. Uh-huh. And I got some, uh, I made some homemade wheat pasta. Oh, wow. With some herbs that we got also at the market. Okay. And some sunchokes. Uh-huh. They're a tubular vegetable. Now those sunchokes, why did you, why do you use those? Where do you, where do you find the feeling about the sunchokes? Uh, I like using tubulars, oh. like turnips, sunchokes, radishes, which I forgot to get. But next you time. You got the sunchokes. Yeah, <laughs> next time. Throw them in there. Nice fresh cucumbers. Throw some of the greens on there from the onion. And you can put any ingredients you like in yourself. I don't see that you've got anything canned here at all. I don't nope. see any canned. It's all fresh. All fresh. All fresh. Very good. Okay, so we'll let this marinate. A little olive oil, roasted garlic, and the, the sunchokes. Some white wine. We'll glaze the pan. Let that reduce for a minute. A little high heat. Big fan of capers, so I'm throwing some in there too. Very simple. Now the pasta you can serve hot or cold. I'm gonna serve it hot tonight. Can you say that this pasta you make here? Yeah, this is homemade pasta. Wow. It's just uh, a cup of, this amount will make a cup of wheat flour, okay. half cup of bread flour, bacon flour, and two eggs. And just mix it up and that's it. Roll it out, cut it any which way you want. I'm gonna add some honey. Come on, honey. Nice. So, now we'll let that simmer and low heat. And the dressing's hot. That'll meld with the pasta and everything else. Beautiful. So, to present, I just take some of the spinach. Kind of like ring it on the outside. Cucumbers. First the pasta, a little pasta in there. This pasta will make, if you can, about four, about four servings. I'm getting a little indulgent here, though. It's really beautiful looking pasta. I really love Thank that. Thank you. Tomato. Now, if you use a bigger tomato, you can crown it with your asparagus. Ah. But I didn't see any big tomatoes there, so I'm just going to put it around. Now, the asparagus that you put with the tomato, you really basically, that is just baked in the olive oil that you put in the pan there, is right. that correct? Yes, okay. with the tomato, everything all at once. Put the dressing on there. One ladle right on top. You can use mushrooms, whatever you like. And then 
drizzle some around. And then we'll take some of the roasted sun chokes here. Sun chokes, you did the same as the asparagus, just to yep. slice them, put them in a little bit of olive oil. Olive oil and roast yeah. them. And I threw some whole garlic cloves, some roast them ah, too. Okay. Just to give you that bite. Oh yeah. And then a little smoked salmon just for a little glamour. Yep. Gotta have bread with with the salad. Yeah, let me get all this out of the way. And what did you do with the bread there? Uh, it's just butter, fresh herbs, and uh, the roasted garlic. I did more of that. Let's dress her up. Put some there. A little basil sprig. Now these herbs you you bought in plant in uh, little pots, yep. so you could actually you know put these out in the garden and have them all summer long. Right, right. A little basil. Okay, and then the homemade cheese crackers. Ah, okay. Cheddar cheese that uh, the cheese curds that from the farmers market. Okay, from uh, Farmer John. Right. Okay. Those are the those were cheese curds. Yes, they were oh. cheese curds. Uh, some flour and heavy whipping cream. Okay. Make it into a Play-Doh consistency, and that's it. Wow. Flatten it out on a baking sheet. Did you, did you chop it together? Or? Yeah, yeah, I chopped it fine. A little wheat pasta. Sweet. And there we are. So Zaya. those cheese curds aren't just for squeaking. You can uh, yeah, you can cook with them. Out of them. Yep. And there we are, folks. Yeah.